Hello to everyone who thought they wasted all their money on Battlefront. Well, you still probably did, but this might soften the blow a bit more. So, Battlefront, EA, all of them, they announced all of the season pass details for the next year-ish. And it's really disappointing, but it's really exciting at the same point, depending on which way you look at it. So, Battlefront came out in November. Um, I haven't touched it since late December. I played it for like 30 hours, and then I haven't touched it since. Like, it's it gets really boring after a while. In my opinion, it's a very shallow game. It has lots of promising qualities to it. It's just they didn't do much with it. There's no story mode. All it really is is it's a really pretty canvas for which they have done nothing with. That's what I think. I think it's a really cool game, like a core. They just need to expand it. And will these expansion packs really expand it? We really have to wait and see. But here are the details for the expansion packs. So the expansion pack number one is coming out in March. And it's the Outer Rim. And the Outer Rim is basically, you can go to Sullust, um, they're inside their factories, um, which doesn't sound too special to me. And then uh, into Jabba the Hutt's palace, which I think will be really fun. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to go into that little, not train, but that little thing that they traveled on. And then uh, you can go into the sand pit and see where Boba Fett fell down. And if you push people into the pit, they die too. Um, hopefully something like that. And then being able to go to the um, cantina and all of the singers and dancers. Hopefully that will be amplified. That's one of the maps I really wanted to see. But I... Obviously, there's only four worlds, four maps, really. So, um, I really hope that one will be interesting. It's the first expansion pack. And remember, you have to buy the season pass to get these. I'm assuming you can buy them each separately. I don't know how for mu how much money it will cost, though. But it's $50 for the whole season pass to get all the expansion packs I'll be talking about. So, March, we'll be getting that. And, um... Summer will be getting the map I wanted the most, Best Pin, the Cloud Planet, the one where, uh, I don't want to, really spoilers, the game movie came out like 40 years ago, where, um, they all came and it's a trap and, <laughs> um, no, it's not a trap. I'm thinking of a different thing. I'm sorry. It's when they walk into the room and Darth Vader is in there. It's like, whoa, and then that's where Luke found out Darth Vader is his father. And it's the Cloud Planet, okay? It's Cloud City. So that will be a map coming in summer 2015. Um, as for heroes that will get there, I'm not really sure. Um, I don't think we'll see Lando Calrissian ever, really. I really want to see Darth Maul, but all these expansion packs are really like limited to 4, 5, and 6. So I'm not thinking Darth Maul or Obi-Wan, younger Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon Jinn. Darth Grievous, or General Grievous. Uh, I don't think any of the prequel characters will be a hero anytime, ever, actually. So, um, that's summer. Summer, we have Best Pin. And then in fall, they're just, skip they're just skipping the rest of summer. They're just going right into fall. Um, they're releasing the Death Star, which is the second map I was really excited for. And, um... Again, I don't really know how they're going to go with this. Will they do space battles outside of the Death Star like they did in previous Battlefront games? Where you can go through the hangar and then there'll be like a star fight outside and then a normal fight inside? They really should do that because that makes it really interesting. Because you have a war outside of the Death Star and then a war inside of the Death Star. So I think that's a really, really cool idea that they need to implement somehow. And as far as heroes, again, I have no idea. They already have Darth Vader, Luke, Leia, Darth Sidious. I guess Chewbacca. Is there really any other evil characters we're really missing? As far as 4, 5, and 6? I don't really think so. So, I'm really interested to see... There's two villains and two heroes being added across the expansion pack. And I'm not really seeing any except for Chewbacca, really. Um, as far as uh, post-fall... Uh, they just say 2017, they don't say early uh, winter, so they don't say winter 2016. They only have March 2016, summer 2016, and fall 2016. So only three of the expansion packs are coming this year. And I think that's a little ridiculous in a way. Um, <clears throat> by the time the final expansion pack comes out, the new movie might be out. Like, that's how long they're taking. Uh, it came out November 2015. 
The final expansion pack is coming out sometime in 2017. That's two years. That seems a little too much for me. I think they should release it all this year, but obviously I'm not in charge of that. They should release one. If I was, in retrospect, if I was the owner, I would have released one in December about The Force Awakens. I would have released one in February about uh, the Death Star. And then I would release one in April, May for the Death Star. And the final one, which will be whatever, in, in uh, summer. I think waiting until 2017, no one's really going to care at that point. Actually, most people aren't caring anymore. I really like Battlefront, like I said, as a core game. I think it's a really like pretty canvas, which they haven't painted on, really. And... <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is really scratchy today. Um, I think waiting until 2017, the whole player base will just be depleted by then. You're going to have a fraction of people playing on the servers. You really barely see anyone playing anymore at this point at all. Most people are playing Black Ops. If you look at Twitch, it's like the 100th most played game right now. Um, that's nothing like Splatoon. Mario 64. Mario Sunshine. Agario, all of those games, more people are watching on Twitch than they're watching Battlefront. No one's really playing Battlefront anymore. And the fact that they think it's okay to wait until 2017 to finish expansion packs is a little ridiculous. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm excited for Bespin, the Death Star, Jabba the Hutt. But at that point, I'm probably not going to have anyone to play against anymore, am I? So it's really, they really have to make these great. They have to make these the best worlds yet. They have to make... The Death Star, phenomenal, uh, outside and in. They have to make Bespin the prettiest planet yet. They have to make Jabba the Hutt uh, very comical, very fun, very cool to go into. They can't just half do it. They have to do it really, really great this time around. So we'll see how it goes. The uh, Quick recap, March, we're getting Jabba the Hutt and Solust Factories. <laughs> Whatever that is. Uh, like who, who really asked for? Uh, I want to go. I want to fight in a factory in a solace. Not me. Summer best pin, fall, Death Star, and sometime in 2017, uh, the next one, which they didn't say anything about. There's four heroes, two villains, two heroes across the whole expansion pack. So I don't really know besides Chewbacca who they're gonna add since this is all um, the original trio based. Animal Akbar would be cool if I know that one. Oh, Yoda. Yoda. Yoda and Chewbacca. And then, even though you don't really see Yoda fight in um the original trio. So, really, what is there to come? Who knows? Will anyone really be interested in it once it really rolls out? Who knows? Uh, there's updates coming out um, tomorrow, which were updates that should have been added day one. Or before they even released the game, but I don't know. I have no hate towards them. It's just um, I feel like they're waiting too long to roll out this content. Buying fifty dollars worth of season pass in twenty fifteen and not getting the full collection until twenty seventeen that just seems a little too sketchy for me. So it's up to you. If you're excited, tell me in the comments. I'm still excited. I'm excited to play on Best Spin. I'm excited to play with Emma Death Star. It's just will I have anyone really to play against at that point? No, I don't know if anyone's really checking at that point. So comment below what your thoughts are. I think these are great selections. It's just they have to do them well. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. For more Battlefront and gaming news, hit that subscribe button. I'll be here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.